Stay Golden is counting down the 12 times Dorothy's Borniak was not to be messed with. Before we get to the list, remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. That way, you'll never miss another video. And now, the 12 times Dorothy's Borniak was not to be messed with. Yes, just one. What in hell are we doing here? I feel like I'm in the middle of some awful dream. Yet I know it can't be a dream because there are no boy dancers. <laughs> Mother! I just cannot believe you are actually going to give money to someone like this sperm pusher. <laughs> you are a Devereaux. A Devereaux has never had to pay for it. I certainly haven't. She's always depended on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> Dorothy, can I ask you a question? What do you think I ought to do with my bed? Put it in the Smithsonian blend. <laughs> I and mean, it has more miles on it than the spirit of St. Louis. It's nice meeting you, Ted, but I have to go to work. Oh, what do you do? Uh, she's Gary Hart's campaign manager. <laughs> it doesn't pay much, but you don't have to get out of bed to do it. I know just what you need. Aerobics. It's what I do. But Yvonne, you're much younger than they are. <laughs> I know you love aerobics. It stretches every muscle in your body. Honey, I've been stretching this body for years. Blanche, sticking your feet out of the sunroof of a Chrysler New Yorker doesn't count. Rose, he left me 38 years later for a stewardess that he met on a business trip to Hawaii. It was her first flight. They said on arrival, give the passengers a lay. She got confused. <laughs> he got lucky and they now live on Maui. Oh, it's really wonderful. A 65-year-old man with gout learning to windsurf. I hope he trips on his thongs and falls into a volcano. <laughs> Good morning, Dorothy. Don't start, Rose, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. That good morning crack was way out of line. <laughs> oh, no, it's me. I was up all night thinking of how Ma's been hoarding all those checks from Phil and Gloria while I've had to go without. Well, now, Dorothy, you really can't blame Sophia for your sex life. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. But since you brought it up, yes, I can. If I'd had the money, I could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with... I better not say anything till I've had my coffee. A slut and a moron. Ladies, we're talking about the difference between being here in the morning or being steak tartare. How much more? A bit more. How much? Exactly. Yes. $10,000. I'd rather be murdered. I want a great big wall safe. You don't need one anymore. You got no jewelry. <laughs> oh, get it back. I went to the police today with some sketches I made. How could you make sketches? You didn't see the robbers. Not of the robbers, of my mama's jewels. <laughs> OK, OK. We're getting the basic system. Whatever. But not from you, from your competitor. What? Because what you were trying to do was terrify us into spending more money than we have. Now get out of here before the victim of violent crime in this house is you. <laughs> She's not back yet? No. I don't understand. What could they be doing all this time? You know what they're doing. Yeah, I also know Stan. We were married for 38 years. And if you added up all the times that we did what he is doing right now, Blanche still should have been home 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Where are you going? To either get ice cream or commit a felony. I'll decide in the car. Hi, Rose. Tell me, did you get a chance to play around with those lyrics I gave you? Yeah, listen to this. Hey, that sounds great. <laughs> Let's take it from the top. From the top? Oh, that sounds so musical. <laughs> <laughs> Tickle the ivories, Rose. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Rose, play or die? <laughs> Miami sorted sex scene. Who's to blame? That's her. She's the one. Blanche, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Blanche, let's go. Oh. 
lunch, wake up, my wife will be home any minute. <laughs> Hi, Rose. We brought dinner. What'd you get? A bucket of chicken. <laughs> I hope you like it extra flat and crispy. In the comments below, tell us what's a time in your life that you channeled Dorothy's Bornack. Thanks for checking our video out, and remember to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and share with your friends. Stay golden out there!